Hello, folks. Oh, Bubba the Jewish Redneck Prepper back with you to morning. Uh, well, afternoon. <laughs> we down here off of uh, Sandbar Ferry Road here in Augusta, Georgia, and uh, Oak Street. And uh, we're in South Augusta. Uh, Sandbar Ferry Road comes off of Broad Street. And Augusta is known for many well known people like uh, Hulk Hogan, used to live here. Lawrence Fishburne, the great actor. Um, Gib Woman, the country singer. M many other folks. James Brown. There's a statue of James Brown down there on Broad Street. But here is a little bit of history that many people don't know. I am distant kin to these two people, Orville and Wilbur Wrights. I'm eighth cousins, five times removed. A lot of people don't consider that family, but still, it's family. And here's a Georgia State marker here. That shows that there used to be the Signal Corps uh, Aviation School. It says from 1911 to 1913 on the on the Barnes family southeast of this marker, one of the first military aviation training centers in the U.S. was established in 1911. After successful test flights of the second Wright airplane in 1909. The Wright brothers agreed to the establishment of an Army Aviation School at College Park, Maryland. The latitude of College Park being unsuitable for winter flying, the War Department chose Augusta for a winter school. Arriving in Augusta on November the 29th, uh, 1911, the College Park School was welcomed by Mayor Thomas Barrett Jr. in January. Wilbur Wright visited the school, which returned to Maryland in April of 1912, so it was only here a short time. It says the school was reopened at the Barnes Farm in November 19, 1912 due to the strained relations with Mexico. All men and equipment were moved to the Texas February 28, 1913 to become part of the 2nd Division. The two days previous to departure from Augusta were spent preparing for what would have been the first military use of airplanes by the U.S. Uh, had military operations developed. The evacuation in 1913 marked the end of the Augusta School. Among the aviators trained here at this school were Colonel T.D. Milling, Chief of Staff of Brigadier William Billy Mitchell in World War I, and General Henry Harley Hap Arnold, Commander of the U.S. Air Forces in World War II. Well, folks, this is a little bit of history. Not very far here was another military base, and now it's a ghost town. And back part of the history of Georgia. If you like this video, how about hit the like button and subscribe to the Jewish Redneck Prepper family. Leave a comment. All comments are welcome. Until the next time, this is Obaba, the Jewish Redneck Prepper, saying God bless. Shalom.